Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to obtain the simplified machine model of the synchronous machine which is required to carry out the stability studies. So let us begin. So friends, in our previous lecture we have discussed that to obtain the power angle equation it is important to have the simplified model of the machine. So in this lecture, we are going to obtain the simplified model of the machine. Okay, specifically the synchronous machine. So to obtain the simplified machine model, here I am going to consider a salient pole machine. Salient pole synchronous machine I am going, going to consider here. Okay, so already we know the operation of the salient pole alternator or the salient pole synchronous machine okay so with this at steady state condition during steady state operation we know that the induced emf is calculated as for the synchronous machine it is v plus j x d i d plus j x q i q okay here that x d is greater than x q what is this x d and x q this x d is direct axis reactance and x q is the quadrature axis reactance direct axis reactance and x q quadrature axis reactance accordingly this id and iq will be the same id will be the direct axis current and iq will be the quadrature axis current okay then let's say a transient has occurred in the machine okay due to some disturbances the machine is now uh, it has been operating in a transient condition okay so here under transient condition under transient condition this equation let me call this as equation number one the equation one it becomes see now this e will be replaced with e dash what is the meaning of this e dash it is the induced emf during transient okay it will be equal to v plus j x d dash i d plus j x q dash i q okay see this dash indicating these are the transient values okay see x d dash will be the transient reactance or the transient ax direct axis transient reactance and x q will be the uh, quadrature axis transient reactance okay uh, one more thing i want to add here is that the current i is the combination of these two current that is the quadrature axis current and the direct axis current okay now here this x d what we are getting here is x d dash will be it will be less than this x d okay again uh, under transient condition x q dash is nothing but x q only why it is so because the main main field it is along the direct axis so that's why on the quadrature axis the transient will not have much impact that is why x q dash is same as x q only okay and again this x d dash is less than x d okay so using these two i can write this equation number let me write this as equation number two so this equation number two can be rewritten as e dash is equal to v plus j x d dash i d plus I, x q i q x q dash is nothing but x q only so i am writing that x q as it is 
okay now you see this i is equal to id plus iq so from this this iq can be written as i minus id so now i'm going to put that relationship here that e dash is equal to v plus now uh, let us write this term first it is i into xd into id plus this iq let me write it as i minus id okay then this term xq okay now let us make this id term on one side so we will get v plus j x dash d id plus this term i into x q minus id into x q okay so this id term this i term and id term i'm going to make it separate okay so here we will get as v plus this term okay definitely here we miss this j so that j will come here and it will be with these two term as well okay so we are getting here v plus this term j i into x q that is the one term plus in another bracket we are having see this x d and here x d i can take it as common okay and in the bracket we will left with the x d dash this one okay j x d dash and this is minus j x q into id okay now let me write it once again the first bracket is v plus j i x q plus the another bracket is let us write this j as common outside x d dash minus x q into id so let us call this as equation number three okay so looking at this equation number three we can uh, have the phasor diagram for this simplified machine okay so you see here this is e dash okay and it is equal to uh, as per that latest equation what we got it is equal to v, v plus j i x q v this one plus j i x q this one plus this term that is j x d dash minus x q into i d so this is give, getting, giving us the e dash okay so this uh, vector diagram or the phasor diagram it can be drawn with the help of this equation number three okay now furthermore under transient condition we know that this x d dash is less than x d and what about x q x q dash is same as x q only okay now if i compare this x d dash with x q both are approximately same x d dash and x q are approximately same okay if i make this if i put this assumption in this equation number three we will get e dash is equal to see this x d dash I'm making is approximately equal to xq so this this will get cancelled it will become zero so we will left with e dash as v plus j i xq okay so we are getting this relationship for induced emf under transient condition okay see no doubt this xq i can write or if i want if you want you can write it as v plus j i instead of x q if i write x d dash that is also correct okay so based on this equation of the induced emf under transient condition i can draw the simplified model for the machine you can see this e dash is nothing but 
uh, summation of these two. This is e uh, induced EMF under transient condition. This is the terminal voltage. Okay, and this is the drop. Okay, so let us see how we can draw that. Yes, here you can see it is the simplified machine model. So as per the equation, we can see that this equation E dash is equal to V plus J I uh, X D dash. Okay, so with the with the help of this equation, we can have the simplified model of the machine as this is simplified machine model of the synchronous machine that was saline pulled synchronous machine okay this e dash okay this is the induced emf and this is xd dash and this is the terminal voltage okay so this terminal voltage it is actually the combination of this induced emf and this drop will give us the terminal voltage okay we can write it accordingly see here i'm writing the equation e dash is the induced emf that side minus xd dash into id it will be equal to that terminal voltage okay so this is how we can obtain the simplified machine model even for a cylindrical type of the synchronous machine okay so this model we are going to use to carry out the stability studies okay in our next lecture we will be discussing the power angle equation derivation and the power angle curve thank you very much